December three weeks left. And every game now is like a playoff game. Ohio State is number two, and they're hosting number eight, Penn State. In the battle to see who will host playoff games. Welcome, everybody. This is week number 10. And whenever it is week number 10, you know that the game is coming down to just simple, simple things. Quite frankly, when you take a look at this game, Penn State, as play had a good season this year, they've had some ups and downs, but they are 8-1, and they have one of the best offenses, not only in this season, but in the history of college football. And for Ohio State, but they do have a loss. For Ohio State, they're one of the more solid teams in college football. They don't have enough offense like Penn State, but they give up 145 less yards on defense. It's going to be a very good clash here. Penn State gets more turnovers. They're a minus nine. They're a plus nine in turnovers. That's big because uh, Ohio State is a plus two. But when it goes to passing, Penn State can easily come back from a down deficit where Ohio State needs an early lead, but they can get it here. Here at Ohio Stadium, it's 44 degrees, it's chilly, it's cloudy, the wind is at five miles an hour. It is going to be a tough day. Taking a look at these teams, Penn State, their schedule, they beat Syracuse 51 to nothing, beat Florida State 52 to 34. Beat Miami 30 to 24, Texas A&M 41 to 20. They lost to USC 28 to 14. But then they beat Alabama of 11 in a tough game. They beat Houston, scored 63. They beat Arizona State by 30, and they beat Tennessee 49-21. They are red hot. On the other side for Ohio State, Ohio State lost one game, 17-14, West Virginia. And they beat USC at 72, a very good team. They beat BYU by 19 points, Miami by 24. They beat that same Alabama team 24 to 7. They beat 93 Florida State 24 to 12. And they beat 94 Nebraska 21 to 7. And they have a very favorable schedule after this, especially at Houston and at home against 75 Arizona State. If they win this game, they could end up number one. They could. They could very much do that. That's what's on the line here. For Penn State, quite frankly, Kerry Collins. And Kerry Collins is having one heck of a game so far. Let me take a look at the statistics. Right here, Kerry Collins. Sorry about that. The roster. Here we go. Collins is They'll go to the summary. Penn State, first in offense, first in total yards. Second in passing yards and 17th in rushing yards. Now the defense, remember, they have the one double A teams there, so take 40 off, but they're still down in points, still down in yards. They're dead last in giving up passing yards, and rushing yards are 88. For Ohio State, for Ohio State now, take a look here. Ohio State is uh, down a little bit in points in the first quarter. Total yards, their strength lies on the balanced team. Right now, taking a look here, Kerry Collins already for Penn State. Kerry Collins has over 2,000 yards passing. He has 2,207. Kajana Carter has over 1,000 yards rushing. Bobby Ingram has 44 receptions. Kim Herring on defense has four interceptions. And Willie Smith with two sacks. For Ohio State, you take a look at this as big. Stanley Jackson only has 724 yards passing. And Pepe Pearson has almost 1,000 yards. So they're not even there yet. Penn State's over double. And Luke Fickle has 16 interceptions. But Andy Katzenmoyer, he is somebody you need to look out for as both of these teams are fighting for this though. Group K, the winner here is probably going to host 
um, the conference championship game. They're probably going to host the second place team. And that's going to be very, very big. Because if they play a repeat, they play it here, who knows? Penn State wants to have it in their home. What happens here is every team plays, and then the conference championship is first versus second. I got a peanut stuck in my throat. The consolation is fourth at third and then the championship second at first. It's not a playoff, it's not a playoff. And then when you do your crossover games the next week, that's when they play B and C. We do that so the teams on the bubble have a chance to move up and it rewards teams who actually win their group. So, and then after that, we take the top 32 and have the playoffs. There are only three more biggie weeks here. About to go here. And we're gonna give the toss right here at 10:25, and Penn State wins a defer to the second half. And it'll be Penn State at 8-1, Ohio State at 7-1. Penn State won four straight. Brett Conway is about to kick off. Very, very big for Penn State to get an early lead. He's going to kick off the Stanley and Sean Springs. We're underway. Brett Conway, and it's going to be big, and it is in the end zone for a touchdown. Ohio State will start off. Stanley Jackson, the quarterback, Pearson and Keller, the fullback and running back, running back and fullback, Stanley and D. Miller. Um, the wide receivers and DJ Jones at tight end. First and 10 for Ohio State from the 25. And the blitz from Killens. It's a play action. He's going to throw to Miller. He got out to 29. And here comes Miller up to the 35. At 10. First down. And a first down for Ohio State. This could have the makings of a very big football game. A very high scoring one. First down and 10 from the 35 for Ohio State. Jackson, he's going to play action again. He's going to run. He's scrambling. And Gelsheiser, and he gets eight yards. It's going to be second down and two. Ohio State getting a lot of yards here early. Second down and two for Ohio State from the 43. They give it to Pearson. He's out of bounds by Brian Miller in the first down here for Ohio State. So they're just moving the ball quite easily down the field. First down for Ohio State from the 47. Porter, the staff, they give it to Pearson. He goes to the left side. Here's Pearson, and he's five. He's second down and five. Ohio State's opening possession here of the game. Second down and five, the fifth play of the drive. They give to Pearson. He's going around the left side again. He goes for another five. And they're going to measure to see if it's a first down, but they have been absolutely on first target down. today, and they get a first down. Ohio State is looking very good here as they are coming down the field. Very, very big. It'll be first down for Ohio State from the Penn State 43. High formation again to give to Jackson. Jackson hit hard, breaks the tackle, and he gets seven. And he's coming down the field. I don't think they've had a third down yet. It'll be second down and three. Second down and three. Flag on the play. And there's going to be a flag, and those things kill, but they give to Jackson. He goes to the right side. Game four, and that's who it is. Up line. Defense. They'll accept that penalty because they'll give it an extra yard, and it'll be a first down. First down. First down at the 31 yard line. And it's going to be. First down for Ohio State. First down for Ohio State. Penn State's 31 opening possession, seventh play. They get to Jackson. He goes to the left side. Ohio State is looking very good here. Ohio State looking very good, and it's going to be first down. This will be the eighth play of the drive. First and ten from Penn State's 15. They're going to throw. Here's Jackson, he throws to Stanley and it's incomplete. That's the first time the uh, clock is stopped until the snap. It's gonna be second down and 10. 
second and ten. Ninth play of the drive. For Ohio State from Penn State's 15, they give the Pepe Pearson. Pearson goes to the outside for four, and it'll be third down and six. I have a feeling this is going to be a bend but don't break game. Third and six for Ohio State. At Penn State's 11-yard line, we're just underway, and all-out blitz, here they come. They're going to throw Jackson. He throws to D. Miller, and it's knocked away by Collins. It'll be fourth and six, and now a field goal. Jackson hitting 75%. Here comes Jackson for a 28-yard field goal. 28-yard field goal by Ohio State. Here they go, the staff, the spot, and the first kick of the day. And it'll be on its way, and it is... Hits a crossbar, and it is... It's good. It sneaks in. It hit the crossbar, and it bounced over. It was just a bad kick. Oh my goodness, this thing is just, oh my goodness. Well, this is the biggest matchup of the week. And right now, Ohio State is getting an A in the first period of it. CU bands, they are providing the music here. As we start to kick off here for Ohio State, as they have a three to nothing lead, the number two team in the nation, if they were to end up winning. And Jackson will kick off. He's going to kick it, and it's going to be Kajana Carter at the seven. He's going to get up 16 yards. Now the dream team offense will start off for Penn State. Dream team offense. Many people feel that they are the best that ever played. You got Kerry Collins, Kajana Carter, the running back, Brian Milne, the fullback, Bobby Ingram, and Freddie Scott, the wide receivers, and today, Keith Olsimer, tight end. First down for Penn State at their own 23. Snapped, and they give to Carter, and Carter outside for game of seven. Only second and three. Well, you got to prevent everything against this Penn State offense. When you do that, you leave people to one-on-one -on -one coverage and room to run. Second down and three. From the 30-yard line, Collins to throw. Collins fakes to Mill. He's going to give it to Freddie Scott in the end around. He's trying to find an opening, and he's tackled in the backfield. And he loses it. Fran Ganner is not used to... Um, doing these trick plays. Really, and why would you? You got a great offense. They could just normally smash it in your face. Third down and nine from the 24. Collins is gonna need this in good angle. He gets it at the 30 and goes to the sideline. It's intercepted. Intercepted by Ty Howard. And that is a big interception for Ohio State. Ohio State will take over. And they will take over here. So, they're gonna have it here first down, and this is big, because Ohio State can get an early lead, and if their hope is to play catch up, then this is exactly what they need if their hope is to make Penn State play catch up. First down and 10 from Penn State's 30. Porter, he snaps the ball. Jeremy Jackson, he hands off to Montgomery. Up the middle. Bumble, bumble, and Phil ties it out here. Penn State has it. There's confusion. Was it a bumble? The referees are going 
going to start talking. Was it a fumble? And not a fumble. Not a fumble. And Paterno's going crazy on the side. And he gets five. So a fumble that wasn't to be. And it's second down and five. Came back. It's going to be second and five now. From Penn State's 25, they keep the possession. They give to Pearson. Pearson hit hard. And outside for Taylor. First down. First down. Ohio State's hope is to make it 10 to nothing, 17 to nothing. When Penn State gets hot, just get that cushion. First and 10 from Penn State, 17. They give to Pearson. Flag on the play. There's going to be a flag. <laughs> Pearson goes through the line. The game's safe. Let's see what it is. Holding. Offense. Oh, and a holding call is going to push him back. Stanley Jackson. First and 20 for Penn State's 27. Single coverage quarter, and he hands off to Pepe Pearson. He goes to the outside. He got some daylight. He gets four yards, though. That's it. He's second on the six. What do you do? Throw it up in the air and say, that's it. We're just going for the field goal. Second and 16. I think you need to go for the touchdown here. They give it to Pearson again. He goes to the outside. There's Pepe Pearson, and he gets four yards. Third down and manageable, third and 12. I don't know about manageable, but it might be tough here. Third down and 12 for Ohio State. Penn State's 19, Jackson. He's going to throw to Pearson. He makes it up to 10. Here's Pearson. Big swing. And Pepe Pearson is in five. Touchdown. Touchdown, Ohio State. Oh, thank you. I will tell you this much right here uh, that Ohio State Ohio State has enough offense that they can keep going but I'm not sure about their defense they got a turnover the first time but they're starting off the game looking like a number one team who knows how long will this keep up Penn State and Ohio State 
down and 18 for Ohio State if they get a first down here that would be big for momentum Collins is blitzing Jackson hurry he's sacked by Todd Atkins and Todd Atkins with the sack it's going to be fourth down Atkins that was very big and now it's going to be fourth down and Ohio State's going to punt Bartholomew will kick to Bobby Ingram and let's see how they do so it's going to be fourth down Penn State won't try and block. It's going to be lots of time. Nice kick. Ingram, a fair catch. And he gets it at his own 29-yard line. Well, he gets it at his own 29. This has been, it was Ohio State at the very beginning doing very well. And now Ohio State is cooling down. And here comes Penn State. Thank you. 
a lot of bubble teams here. A ton of them. And when you're talking bubble teams, quite frankly, we're going to go through halftime and explain all of the... Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to show you the scores. We'll show you them at the uh, quarter anyway. It's going to be first down Penn State. I formation on their own 29-yard line. They hand it to Kajana Carter. He goes outside, changes direction. First down. First down you're going to have to get up Penn State-like consistency on your offense. That's what you're going to need. That's where Penn State beats you. They force your offense to be very consistent. They can't screw up and have penalties. It'll be first down and 10 from their own 42. They give it to Kajana Carter. Carter goes to the outside, and he gets only a yard there, second and nine. So this will be under a minute, second down and nine for Penn State. 43-yard line, they give it to Carter. He goes to the left side. It's a trap between seven. It'll be third down and two. The question is, will the quarter end? No. Penn State's going to have to have one more possession and one more play. It's third down and two. From midfield, will they punt or first down? They give to Carter. A play action, he throws to Bobby Engram and he got it at the 41 of Ohio State. So it'll be first down, Penn State first down. at the 41 of Ohio State. And that's gonna end the first quarter. At the end of the first quarter, this has been an up and down football game with the up coming from Ohio State early and the down coming from Penn State later on. It is 10 to seven. this game to have crazy numbers because of the team. And that's not what happens in these games. They're going to have more NFL numbers. They will have more NFL numbers, and it's going to be first down and 10. From Ohio State's 21. They take the Carter. He's going to go deep to Benny Scott. And it is got it at the 9. The boys are tackling him. Penn State, a 41-yard touchdown pass. And that's your crazy numbers here. First play of the second quarter. Five plays, 71 yards, a little over two minutes. Here's Brett Conway. There's been one punt all day. Conway, the extra point. Up and it is good. 14 to 10 lead. We're going to keep it here in the second quarter. This has been, this has been a long game, but it's been a really exciting one. So much on the line. I can see home field advantage in the playoffs. I can see conference championships. And everything like that. So Penn State is up 14 to 10 right now. Now they're going to go to the kickoff. On way to kick. And it'll be in the end zone for a touchdown. One play, a touchdown. Penn State leads. 
They get a win here, they're gonna be in the top five. First and 10 from their own 25 for Ohio State. Instead, they give to Jermaine to Jerome Jackson. Jerome Jackson gets six. It's gonna be second down. Second down and four. Ohio State from the 31 yard line. Jackson gonna throw, that's Stanley. He throws for Boston and it's poor thrown. It'll be incomplete, third down and four. Third and four for Ohio State. The 31 yard line. And they go to Keller and it is broken up by Herring who has four interceptions. Four interceptions on a year and it's gonna be fourth down and four. Now Ohio State's gonna have to punt from their own 31. Snap the punt is in the air. A good punt, a solid one that goes out of bounds at the 30 yard line. Here comes Penn State. The Penn State to John Carter is the only one in the backfield. He has three wide receivers right now, Ingram, Campbell, and Collins. First down for Penn State. Do what you need to do. Penn State is doing a lot of what they need to do right now.
pitch into third. And a lot of those bubble teams looking good today. A lot of them. It's going to make it difficult on the rankings. Some are good, some need victory. Penn State on around 16 of first down. And they give it to Kajana Why Carter. There's a flag. And he gets about three, and let's see what it is. Holding. Offense. Oh, holding, it's going to be half the distance. First and 18. We don't make the second attempt. Ohio State needs something to happen their way. They need something to happen their way. It's first and 18 from their own eight. And they give to Brian Milne up the middle. He's hit at the line and goes through it. Second and 18 for Penn State. They're on the eight-yard line. They throw. He's looking, looking. Throws that. And it is intercepted. Intercepted by Ohio State. And Ohio State with a big interception. And he takes it now. A first down for Ohio State. And Ohio State will have it. Ohio State will first and ten. This is the break they need because they're not getting anything else. Ohio State will have it first down and 10. We're going to keep it here. As first down and 10, very big in what they do. Well, I formation on the Penn State's 40-yard line. Flag on the play. There's going to be a flag. Let's see what it is. False start. Offense. Well, they're not playing like a number two team at all. They're not playing. They are sloppy. They're at home. They're false starting when they're at home. No need for that. First down and 15. They're not a first and 15 offense. Penn State is. They give it to Matt Keller. Keller to the outside. Here's Matt Keller. He's being stopped. He wasted it out because he gets back the penalty. It'll be second down. Colorado blowing out Michigan. They're a bubble team. They need to win them all. Second and 10. Penn State's 40. Jackson to throw. He's going to throw to Wiley deep. Wiley and it's deflected. Down for Ohio State now. Third and ten. On the 40-yard line of Penn State. They double Boston. They're gonna throw. No, it's gonna be a draw to the What are they gonna do? They're gonna punt Bartholomew to Bobby Ingram. Wow, what a waste of a possession for Ohio State. They're not gonna rush. Bartholomew will try and angle this out of bounds. It's going to roll. And he'll be out on their own four-yard line. A punt of 35 yards. And we're just back where it started. We're just back where it started. First down, Penn State. The split backs, first and 10 from their own four. They give it to Carter. Carter to the right side. Carter's got the is owning Ohio State since Ohio State had an early lead. Penn State is playing like the number one team. First and ten from their own 19. They give to Stephen Pitts. He goes outside and he loses seven. Give it to Stephen Pitts and it's going to be second down and 17. He tripped up. Fell on the turf. It'll be second and 17. This is natural grass here. Second and 17. Collins to throw. They're going to draw to John Whitman. Whitman. He... Scoots by one guy and gets up three, and it'll be third down and 14. And we'll go, it'll be third down and 14. This is manageable for Penn State. The 15 yard line, they're gonna throw. Colin, he's gonna throw to Freddie Scott. He's gonna go to the 20 yard line. Goes to the 30, here comes Freddie Scott over the 40. Freddie Scott will go to the Ohio State 49. A 36 yard line. First down. It's almost like they wanna run the clock down and get it on third down. First down, uh, expect a run here. First down, from Ohio State's 49-yard line. They double cover Scott, they give it to Carter. Carter, he goes to the outside, and it was well covered. Second down and eight. They know they're gonna run. They know they are, they have to. Second down and eight, they wanna run this clock down. Ohio State's 47, Collins looking for Ingram. Deep, deep, he's got it to 16. Ingram has got the 42 yards out of bounds at the five-yard line. Another deep throw by Kerry Collins. Kerry Collins.
Dallas is unbelievable day right now. A blase first quarter. This second quarter has been incredible. And the first and goal for Penn State. Ohio State's Ty Derrick. And off the Carter. Carter around the edge. Carter. And he scores. A touchdown for Penn State. Penn State now is taking number two, Ohio State. And they're just beating the heck out of them. Seven plays, right? And they take time to move and Conway will kick off it's going to be in for a touchback I thought this would be a better football game and when Ohio State had 10 first quarter points I'm like it could be theirs first down for Ohio State they need something on this drive first and 10 from their own 25 forced out of the pocket is Jackson he's hit hard and he loses the ball and a lot of players if Penn State gets this it's going to be trouble and who gets it Ohio State has it, a sack by Jackson, and that'll be a 13-yard sack. David Thomas, the sack and a forced fumble, but almost a wide-open break. It's going to be second down. Penn State leading 28-10, almost became more. This is implosion for Ohio State. Second down and long from their own 12. They give to Pearson. He only gets two, and it's going to be third and 21. They're booing. It's like, oh, what do you do here? Third and 21 from their own 14. An all-out blitz by Penn State. They're going to throw. Jackson, not a lot of time. He looks for somebody. He is no one. He's going to run. He goes to the outside, turns the corner. It's Jackson down at the 27. He gets 13, but not enough. Not enough, and it's going to be fourth down, and now they're going to kick. Bartholomew will kick to Archie. Fourth and eight, and you know Penn State will go for it. And they're going to try and return. You know they're not just going to take an E, a nice punt. Archie at the 24. Archie will return it for 12 up to the 36-yard line. Number eight, Penn State. They're looking like number one right now. They're taking number two to the woodshed. First down for Penn State. Three, a little over three minutes to go here in the half. The snap. Collins to throw. He's going to throw to Archie. He got it at the 40, and he gets six. It'll be second down and four. They're going to hurry up. Second down and four now from the 42. They give it to Whitman. Whitman, four yards, and a first down. Penn State nearing midfield, but they do want to get that first down. First and ten for Penn State on their own 46. Collins, they give it to Whitman again, up the, to the outside actually, 
And John Whitman is going to only get two yards. It'll be second and eight. And Penn State calls a timeout here. 2-0-1 to go. You can see the score. Right now they are just trying to pile it on Ohio State. If they can pile it on Ohio State, that would be big. Al Red Sox fan, hey, I'm telling everybody right now, we got two viewers. Take a look at Al Red Sox fan's channel. It's really good. It is very, very good. Two minutes to go and a half. Penn State. They're going to go deep for Ingram. And he's covered by Howard. And he throws it away. It's going to be third and eight. I said if they were, they would complete that one. It would be over. Third down and eight from the 48-yard line. They throw to Bobby Ingram again. He got it to 43 of Ohio State. And he's down. Is it enough? Yes, it is. 11 yards. They needed eight. And a first down, Penn State is driving with under two minutes to go. Kerry Collins, he's still down. He gets back up. He was hit hard. And he goes back first to down. the huddle of first down. So a first down for Penn State. A minute and a half to go from Ohio State's 41. They still have two timeouts. The snap they give to Carter. Carter gets a couple, and that's going to be it, second and eight. A timeout for Penn State. Penn State right now needs, they need to score. I think they do. If Ohio State gets a touchdown in the second half, it could be interesting. Second and eight from Ohio State's 39. There's got to be a cooling off. Collins, he's going to throw to Collins. Collins and Phillip Collins, incomplete. Gary Collins was hit as he threw. And it's going to be third down. Third and eight for Penn State. Ohio State's 39. Collins, he's going to throw to Ingram. Ingram tipped by Moore and incomplete. It's going to be fourth down. And a safety, I think they're going to kick an AR. And Iowa will kick. And he's going to punt it away. He's going to try and angle it out of bounds. Ohio State will let it roll. And they're going to down at the Ohio State 17 yard line, only 22 yards. I think Ohio State might take a knee. Let's see what they do. First and 10. And they're going to get the Pepe Pearson. He goes up the line, up the middle again, seven. It's second and three. Second down and three. They're just running the clock out here. They're going to take a knee, and it's the half. It's the half, and Penn State is just absolutely blowing out Ohio State. It's not all the way over, but, you know, enjoy the halftime show, and we're going to go over some of the stats, but enjoy the halftime show. Two minutes. Now for a halftime show. Boise State holding Miami to three to nothing. How about that? They're on the road. There are some bubble games. How about Oregon State playing really well? They beat 76 bet. They beat 92 Alabama. Their season is on track. Auburn of 04 winning. Notre Dame of 89 down 7 to 3. Notre Dame of 66 down by 3. They're a highly ranked team. 05 USC is trying to get into the playoffs. Texas of 09, looking good against 77. 81 Clemson, we're a bubble team. There's a Penn State of 78 against Auburn. Auburn is a very good football team. Penn State of 78. It's only down seven to six. Oh my, BYU, 1984, TCU, West Virginia is beating Michigan State.
Seven and eight, getting longer for Ohio State. They were all punts. They were all punts. Ohio State has to change what they're doing, or else they're going to be dead to right. They might be the home playoff team. It's one thing if you lose, but if you get blown out by like this, you'll lose the home playoff. You will absolutely lose the home playoff. They'll say, no way, get out of here. Okay, no, we're there. And now we'll go to the second half. Go to the second half here. We're ready to go. Penn State will receive the ball. A very important and crucial second half possession. And they're going to kick it deep. This one will be... Anyone jumps for a touchdown. It's the center in Penn State. A first down, a very big one. So we begin the second half. I think Penn State, they got a mix. Their aggressiveness for taking time off the clock. First and 10 from their own 25. The snap, they give it to Whitman. Whitman to the left side, he gains three. He's hit a little bit hard. He's slow to get up. Might go to the sideline, let's see. No, he's still in the huddle. It'll be second down. Second down for Penn State. Second and seven from their own 28. Back to throw is Collins. A draw play to Kajana Carter. He gets up eight on that. That's first down. First down. Kajana Carter and Penn State looking good. First down and ten for Penn State. Round 36. Collins to throw. He's going to throw to Bobby Ingram. And Katzenmoyer tips it away. Second and ten. You haven't heard of Andy Katzenmoyer really yet. I don't know if he has a tackle. Can't tackle somebody in the end zone. That's a penalty. Bobby Engram deep, deep, deep tipped. And it is deflected by two people. And it is intercepted. He's over that field. Here's the interception down to the 40. He's out of bounds at the 34. This is exactly what Ohio State needed. Ohio State needed this. And this is exactly what they needed. Ohio State had to have this, and it happened. The interception happened. Now they've got to figure out what they're going to do with it. First down and 10. Ohio State, they're really just having, they got to do something. They have to. And they can take all the time in the world on this. First and 10 from Penn State's 34. They give to Matt Keller. And no play action by Jermaine. They got a new quarterback in, Joe Germain. But Brandon Noble on his first play sacks him. It's going to be second and 15. Second and 15 for Germain. From Penn State's 39. The on the and he's sacked again twice in a row. They're teeing off on a, They don't 
don't have this defense. They are now coming out and being a number one team. Third down, talk about responding. Third and 25. Back to throw, Jermaine, the draw to Pepe Pearson. He's room to run. Here's Pepe. And Clint Hole stops him for a game. It's 14-13. The question is, what are they going to do? They're bringing out the punting unit. Still early enough they can do it, and Bartholomew wants to punt to Bobby Ingram, but again, he wants to punt it out of bounds. Let's see how he does here. It goes into the end zone and a touchdown. Oh, that wasn't good at all, and Penn State will take over. They're going to take over here. A huge missed opportunity by Ohio State. A very big one, Ohio State. I'm not going to say that that's the football game, but I'm going to say that's a very big, big, big recovery by Penn State. First and 10 from their own 20. And a pass to Mike Archie. He pulls it down to 26. And he's tackled. It'll be a game of six. Second down. Second down and four. And Penn State is going down the field with some uh, authority. Stephen Pitts is in for Kachana Carter. Second down and four at their own 26. Collins to throw. He's going to throw to Kyle Brady, the tight end. There's some heat on it. It's caught by Kyle Brady at the 47. And he's got a first down. 24 yards for Kyle Brady. 300 yards passing for Kerry Collins. Eric the enemy. 200 yards. 200 yards rushing already. First down. 300 yards is a rarity in this league for throwing. They go to Brian Milne. Milne. And Milne only gets a yard. It'll be second and nine. My goodness. Penn State is just second down. Ohio State's going to blitz. Here's Collins. He's going to throw to Bobby Ingram. And he easily intercepted. Intercepted by Ohio State. He returns it nine yards. Ty Howard and Ohio State. I don't know how much opportunities now. Seriously. Penn State's trying to go for the kill shot. They're turning it over. They're pulling off a little bit, but not all the way. And Ohio State is having a chance now to come back. Seriously, right now, Ohio State needs to do something. I formation. They've been sacked left and right. Snap, they go to Joe Montgomery. He breaks free, here comes Joe Montgomery. And he runs up for 13 yards and first down. First down. Silo Tater with the stop. Joe Germain is a quarterback and if he can ever see, he's being nailed. He might throw the ball okay. First down from Ohio State from midfield. Snap, it's gonna run to Wiley. Wiley goes to the wide side and gains five. It'll be second and five. Second down and five. Ohio State, this is four down territory. Second to five from Penn State's 45. But they Pearson, and then Pearson turns the corner. Here comes Pearson, and he gains five, and they're gonna mess it. First down. And they get a first down here. So it's becoming tense here. Momentum is, momentum is starting to swing Ohio State's way. I have a feeling at the end of this possession, it's either gonna be game over or game on. First and 10 from Penn State's 40. Give to Jerome Jackson. And he gains eight. It's going to be second down. Second and two. They're starting to get momentum for Penn State's defense is good for usually a couple quarters, but they can't hold it the rest of the game. Second and two from Penn State's 32. Double on Jones. A snap. He hands it to Pearson. He gets six yards in the first down. First down. Mark Collins with the stop and a first down for Ohio State. They're down big, but they're making room. First down and 10 from Penn State's 26. Thomas is, he is, gets the ball, and Jermaine is tackled. And near the sidelines, it'll be second down. David Thomas came in the backfield, and I was looking at Joe Jermaine, and he had to go, and when he went, he only got a yard. It'll be second and nine. Second and nine from the 25. They give it to Pepe Pearson. Pearson, and he loses one yard. They get a field goal, they'll be okay. 
Third down and 10 now from Penn State's 26. Jermaine to throw. He's going to throw to Pearson again. It's batted down right at the line. It'll be fourth and 10. And they're going to go for it. They're going to go for it. I'm wondering why not get the three and make it two scores. But they're going to say we're going to go for it. It's going to be fourth and 10. They got Joe Germain, Peppy Pearson, the only one in the backfield, Stanley, Boston, and Miller, wide receivers, and Lumpkin, the tight end. Fourth and 10. And Penn State's 26. And a first down for Penn State. Incredible stop when they needed to. And Penn State, that's what number one teams do. Penn State does what number one teams do. And they got to show a little bit more offense. I never thought I'd be saying that. beating Virginia Tech in a big game. That is very big. You see the different scores here. Incredible so far. I'm going to tell you what right now was we're waiting for uh, something to happen here. There we go. Um, Penn State, they have been giving Ohio State opportunities now. They've been giving them opportunities for everything. And Ohio State and quite frankly, they should be coming. They should be coming back. It could be 28-24 right now, but it'll be first down and ten for for Penn State to give to John Whitman. He's going to go out of bounds after six yards. Jerry Rudzinski will push him out of bounds. It'll be second down. Second and four for Penn State. Their own 32. Collins to throw. He's going to look, look, look. He throws to Freddie Scott. Scott at the 43. First down, he's over the field. It's Freddie Scott over the 40. Look at this, and he's down to the 36. First down. First down for Penn State. Freddie Scott, 109 yards receiving. He's broken 100 barriers. Only had three receptions today. First down and 10 for Penn State. Eye formation from Ohio State's 36. They throw to Ingram quickly, incomplete second down. Andy Katzenmoyer is on the coverage. It'll be second down. Second and 10. Ohio State's 36. We're going to throw to Mike Archie. It's deflected. And intercepted again. do they have to do? I'm, I'm telling you, Ohio State against this defense, if they don't score here, they shouldn't even be in the top 20. They shouldn't. You can't do it. It's all these interceptions and all these chances for Ohio State. And it's going to be first down and 10. I've never seen anything like this. First and 10 of Penn State's 33. Penn State is playing their worst game of the year right now. The fake, they throw to Boston down to 29. Game five, second and five. The main completes a pass here. Thank goodness if you're Ohio State. Second and five from Penn State's 28. See if they kick the field goal, that would be big. Pearson, he's gonna be tripped up at the 23, they get five, and let's see if they make it, they're gonna measure. They get a first down, that would be big, and it is not enough. Third and one. And Penn State's 24. A handoff to Montgomery. And he gets seven yards. 
first down. So Ohio State is on the, on the move here. First and 10 from Penn State 17. They give to Pearson. Pearson, avoid being tackled in the backfield. He fights hard and his legs keep churning. He gains three. It's going to be second out and seven. Second and seven for Ohio State, Penn State's 14 yard line. Jermaine to throw. Jermaine, he throws to David Boston. He got it in the end zone. And they're going to talk about whether it's a catch. Is it going to be a catch? Touchdown. Yes, it is. A touchdown for Ohio State. So Jermaine is actually on his feet. And seriously, now for the two point conversion, they're going to kick the field goal earlier. It'll be a one score game. For a two point conversion. They get to Matt Keller and play action. He throws to Stanley. Got it! Let's see, they're going to talk about it. They're going to talk about it. No, no good. It was out of bounds, and that's no good. Oh, my goodness, they say no good. But, I mean, how in the world this thing is turning? Kind of. Ohio State is probably scored a touchdown beyond the first quarter. and get blown out. Well, guess what? That ain't happening now. First and 10 from their own 31. Collins, he's going to roll out. He's going to throw. He flips it to Archie and he got it at the 33. He's over the 40. Here comes Mike Archie again past midfield and he's down to Ohio State 39 to pick up a 30 and a first down. Now I think Penn State wants to end the quarter with the ball. I think they want to do it. It's going to be first down. First down Penn State at Ohio State's 39. They run it to Whitman. Whitman is going to the outside. He has room to run, and he's down to the 27, a gain of 12, and a first down. John Carter's like, shoo, you don't need me. I get today off. But he still wants to get his 100 yards. First down for Penn State at Ohio State's 27. Milne, the throw to Milne. He got at the 29, and he got 10 yards. And will he get a first down? Not enough, second down and one. We're looking, this is an incredible game. Second down and one from Ohio State's 18. Kajana Carter, and he goes to the outside. Kajana Carter scores! Kajana Carter! They just come down the field. He has 78 yards on 10 carries. And my goodness, Kajana Carter. Never seen a team get it together like that. Penn State's gonna kick the extra point here. And it'll be Conway. It'll
it'll be up yeah. and it is good. Ohio State has to match them. That's the thing, Ohio State has to match. Penn State have to match them, and right now, if they don't, they're gonna fall behind. Kick off by Conway. And it goes in the end zone for a touchback. Penn State, this is setting up a conference championship. Penn State and Ohio State at Penn State. Well, we don't know about Ohio State. You know, they gotta win their games and recover from this. First down from their own 25, 49 seconds. They give to Montgomery. Montgomery, he's hit. He goes, gets four on the play. It'll be second and six. They got enough time. They don't have to worry too much. Second and six from the 29. They throw to Lumpkin. And Lumpkin has it at the 34 to the 40. Here comes Lumpkin into Bowman territory. Lumpkin, one man to beat. It was a blown coverage. And he is down at the 44. A play of 27 yards. And that's going to end the third quarter. So right when we think Ohio State is dead, they're not dead. They're coming. Ohio State is coming, but it's Penn State's cushion. Enough. We go to the fourth quarter. I don't know. postseason in each group, the conference championship game and the conference consolation. And then we take the seedings from there, and then we go into the crossovers, and then we have the selection show. First down for Stanley Jackson, and they put Stanley back in. Penn State's 44-yard line. There's a flag, and false start. A false start. Offense. Oh, uh, those penalties kill him. Penalties absolutely kill him. It's going to be first and 15. First and 15 now for Ohio State. First and 15. They're going to throw. Jackson, he throws to Calhoun. And it's broken up second down. I don't know. Joe Germain was, he had something happen last time. They're scoring points, but here's Jackson. Second and 15. Give to Pepe Pearson. No room to the outside. It reverses direction. And Pepe. And he got it open. Here's Pepe Pearson. Here's the third down. This is two down territory. It's going to be third and four. High formation. A Jerome Jackson and Matt Calhoun. Running back and a fullback. Third down and four. They give it to Jackson. Gets a couple, it'll be fourth and two. They gotta go for it. They gotta go for it. It's gonna be fourth down and two. Big fourth and two. This could be the football game. Fourth and two from the 36 of Penn State. They get it to Pearson. Ohio State is still alive. First down and 
10. They don't have to hurry, believe it or not. Jackson gets it to Pearson. It's out of bounds, and he gains four. It'll be second and six. Pearson has 100 yards rushing, 20 rushes for 101 yards. It'll be second and six. And you might say, well, why in the world, when they hurry up now, you don't need to. You don't need to keep throwing. Second and six. Penn State's 28. They get to Pearson again. Pearson to the outside. And Prater stops him for a yard. Third down and five. Third and five. Penn State's 27. Stanley running the spot. He gets at the 16. He gets the 12 yards. And down to the first down. Out of bounds. At the first down. Out of bounds at the 15. And the first down for Ohio State. This is, this is making it very interesting. First down and 10 for Ohio State. Penn State's 15 yard line. Here comes the blitz by Collins. Pearson gets the call up the middle. He gets two, it'll be second and eight. Second down and eight for Ohio State. This is very interesting. At Penn State's 13. They give to Wiley. Wiley around the left hand side. Here comes Wiley for four. It's gonna be third down. Third down. Third and four from Penn State's nine. So big here. One running back, three receivers in the tight end. Jackson to throw. There's pressure. And he's hit from behind. He fumbles it. Ohio State gets it though. You might want to kick the field goal. If you kick the field goal, two touchdowns and two two-pointers. But I think they're going to go for it. Let's see. And it's going to be a field goal. Here comes Jackson now for the field goal. 65% hitting from this range. It'll be 33 yards. And now Jackson had trouble the first field goal of the game. It was short. This one's going to be up. It is over. And this one looks good. And it is good. good. And Jackson was a good score. They need everything to go right. They need everything. Some really good, uh, great games going on right now, and this is going. This is, I wouldn't say one of them, but uh, you want to walk away from the TV. You do, but you can't because you're like, what if, what if, what if for both sides? Live on the play. Kick and there's going to be a flag. Offsides. Kicking team. Oh. Has it at the 15. What will it be? It'll be a first down up to the 36 yard line. They re kick. First down for Penn State. High formation. This is the defining moment against number two. First and 10 from their own 36. Collins is going to get to Carter. Carter goes eight. Goes wide for eight yards. It'll be second down. Are taking a lot of time off the clock. Second now for Penn State. In their own 44, they give it to Mike Archie. Archie. And he gets four yard loss. He loses four, and it'll be second and 14. I don't understand. I think they accidentally put first and five there. I roll my eyes. Second and 14 from the 40. Give it to, to John and Carter. Carter's going to gain four. And third down and ten. Third and ten is like third and three to most people. Third and ten for Penn State. One running back, three receivers, and 
The tight end is Kyle Brady. They throw to Cam Hayes. Got the 48 yard line. And it's going to be eight yards. They needed 10. It's going to be fourth down. And Penn State's going to punt. Going to make Ohio State go all the way down. Kania, not often he kicks. High little distance springs. They just say not much. And he makes a fair catch at the 20 yard line. They just don't want a touchdown. Make them earn it. Make them earn it. We're going to keep it here. They want to just make them earn it first down. Ten from the 20-yard line. The quick pass to Jones. And it is an incomplete second down. Tried to hitch it near the sideline. Second and ten now. For Ohio State. A running back, three receivers in the tight end. Jackson to throw. He throws to Stanley. Still looking <coughs> well. And surrounded by several. He is Ball is loose. And there's a match scramble. And let's see who has it. Mitty Penn State has it. Penn State has it. And that's probably going to be the end of this, quite frankly. I don't see Ohio State getting out of this. We're going to keep it here, first down. Penn State's going to keep time off the clock here. Oh, my goodness. Penn State will have a first down. You know they're going to give to Kajana Carter a lot. And Carter, no, they're going to give to Whitman. Whitman tries to go outside, and he's hit hard by Fink something. It'll be second down and ten. Well, it's two scores and two two-point conversions. A field goal for Penn State ices it. Here at number two, second down and 10 from Ohio State's 11-yard line. Kajana Carter, he's going to get it. There's a flag, and he finds an opening, and let's see, he scores. Let's see what the flag is. Holding offense. That's why he scored. It was holding, and they're going to push him back. They're gonna push them back, so that's gonna be a little bit of a pre for Ohio State. So again, this is one of those games you wanna get away and you keep coming back, get away, keep coming back. Second down and 20 from Ohio State's 21. Collins, he's gonna throw to Archie, he got it, Archie. And Archie, it's gonna be six yards, third and 14. Third down and 14 for Penn State. They want to go for the throat here. But all they need is a field goal really to clinch it. Collins, he's going to throw. He's looking, throws to Kyle Brady. Cats and Moyer incomplete. He breaks it up. And Brett Conway will essentially win this football game. It's a 32-yard attempt by Conway. If he can nail this, he's going to win this game. The kick is over. It is up. Over. And this is good. And Penn State... Brett Conway, a great season for him. His first field goal he kicked all day, and they just wanted to seal the deal, and they do. And unless Ohio State has a, has an unbelievable comeback. I mean, they're doubling the score. Taking a look, Auburn leading Penn State by two scores. They're number one. 1971, maybe they're not number one, but I know 1971, Nebraska, I believe they're number one. And during the tight game, Oklahoma's driving with 4.57 to go. Let's go to that football game. Let's go to Nebraska and Oklahoma, 4.57 to go. And let's, let's take it there. Nebraska and Oklahoma. Here comes Oklahoma with 4.57 to go. Number one, Nebraska's in trouble. Barry Switzer, we're shifting gears right now. Why? Because this is the most important game right now. This is easily the most important game. So here it is, first down for Oklahoma, 4.57 to go. Second and five from Nebraska's 24. They're gonna throw, and they throw to Brooks. And it's incomplete, it's over Brooks, it'll be third down. 
quarterback for Oklahoma is Steve Davis. We got Washington Peacock halfbacks Latrell, the fullback. Third and five from Nebraska's 24. Flag on the play. There's a flag, and let's see what it is. False start. Oh, they're kicking themselves. Offense. They at least need a field goal here. See if they play for fourth down, third and ten from the 29. Back to throw is Davis. He's going to keep it himself on the job play. Gains eight. It'll be fourth and two, and they're going to go for it. Fourth and two. Four eleven to go in this game. Fourth down and two. They're going to go for it. Here we go. They go in the wishbone. They even though it shows a T. Fourth down and two from Nebraska's 21. And Davis rolls out on the option. And he flips it, and he goes to the outside, he needs five and a first down. First down for Oklahoma. They're going to use clock here. First down, 3.46 to go in the game. Oklahoma first down and 10 from Nebraska, 16. Flag on the play. There's a flag, and again, another flag. Offsides. Offsides, and they're just shooting Offense. themselves in the foot. Like, seriously, seriously. First and 15 from Nebraska's 21. Here comes Oklahoma, play pick to Latrell. They're gonna throw to Owens. Intercepted by Anderson! Intercepted by Anderson! Right There's a flag! And everybody is pass out on the pass interference. Defense. Oh, and they call pass interference on the defense! That means Oklahoma's gonna retain it! Oklahoma's gonna get a first down at the Nebraska six! What a, what a change this is! What a change that this is! And it's gonna be a first down. First down for Oklahoma. It's 20 to 14. Very, very big. First down and goal. What a change this is! And just three plays from the Nebraska six. And they're gonna go in the option. He gets the pitch. He goes to the short side. He goes down to the one yard line. It's now second down and goal from the one. This is just fighting now. Player on player, athlete on athlete. Second down and goal from the one. They're just gonna mash it in the middle. Washington up the middle. He goes straight ahead. He scores! by Dorenzo, and it's up in the It's Tony Dorenzo, and Oklahoma now has a, has a lead. 21 to 20, Oklahoma with the lead. Number one in trouble. Number one in trouble, can Oklahoma get regicide now? Can they commit regicide? That would be big. The kick by Dorenzo, and he's going to kick it deep. Rogers at the one yard line. He's dangerous. He goes up there quickly. He lost the tackle. So Johnny Rogers, open field. Johnny Rogers, Johnny Rogers, a goal. He's over his 10. Let's see where he goes to the 20. Here comes Johnny Rogers to the 30. Makes a nice move over the 40. Johnny Rogers, he's down in midfield. A huge gain of 49 yards. Johnny Rogers. And now they're looking for the game winning field goal. Oklahoma's got to worry about their timeout stopping the clock. It's first down, Bob Devaney. And number one, this is very big first down for midfield. And Taggy's going to get the snap. He rolls away. Jay Taggy, now hurry. And he sides up. He tries to go to another target. He's looking to throw. He's going to run it himself. Taggy to the outside. And he gains five. It's going to be second and five. But down by one. Down by one, second down, 209 to go in the game. Second and five from Oklahoma's 45. The blitz is on, Henderson, Taggy looking. He's gonna hit Jerry List, and List is well covered, broken up, third and five. 
tried to throw deep, but it'll be third down and five. Third and five for Nebraska at Oklahoma's 45. And the blitz is on Taggy to throw. He doesn't have time. Taggy, he's going to run it himself. Here's Taggy. He goes to the outside. He has some blockers, and he gets seven. And the first first down. down. Can they get enough for a field goal? Can they get enough for a field goal? A minute 37 to go. Split backs. First down. They got Geller and Olds in the backfield. Taggy, the quarterback. Rodgers and Woody Cox, the wide receivers. Jerry List, the tight end. First and 10 from Oklahoma's 38. They get Dave Geller. He goes to the outside. He gains five. He's still inbound. Second and five. Offense. The timeout for Nebraska. They only have one remaining. Can Oklahoma commit regicide right now and beat number one? This is very big. This is the fourth quarter. Number one is on. Number one would have to kick a 50-yarder from this point. 127 to go. It's going to be second down and five from Oklahoma's 33. And here they come. And Taggy, he's going to throw. He's going to throw to Jerry List on the medium. Pass, he got it to 19. Here comes Lisk. He runs off the list. And he gains 28 yards total. He's down to the five-yard line. It's going to be a first down. And now Oklahoma has to start calling timeout. Offense. Nebraska calls a timeout here. But you know they can take three knees and win the game on the field goal. Oklahoma has all their timeouts remaining. Nebraska would love to run it. Run it in. They need a touchdown though. You get the you get the feeling right now. Oklahoma wants to use all their field goals. I don't know why Nebraska used their timeouts. It's gonna be first down. First down from the Oklahoma five yard line. Number one. It's in trouble. Taggy the throw. Taggy with pressure on the edge. He moves away. Taggy. He's gonna run. Jerry Taggy to the right side against two. It'll be second and goal. Defense. And Oklahoma is gonna call timeout here. Now they're selling out. They they gotta hope that there's no touchdown. 101 to go here. That play took 13 seconds. That was a long one. It's going to be second down and goal from Oklahoma's three yard line. Second and goal from Oklahoma's three. A minute and one second. Here comes the all out blitz. Taggy, he's back to throw. Taggy being pressured. Taggy moves away. Taggy, he's going to run. Here comes here. Taggy, he's going for the corner. He's got it. He's into the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown to Nebraska. Nebraska, number one. And the number one Nebraska, they have a lead. All day long they got nothing. And now number one with 50 seconds to go. Nebraska. My goodness, Nebraska has a 26 to 21 lead. They're gonna go for two right now. They're gonna go for two. Oklahoma has two timeouts and big seconds. It's all gonna be on a bunch of things. But they're only down by five points. Now for two by 71 Nebraska. This will put them all the way up by seven. Here we go. The gift to Dan Kroger. He finds a hole. Dan Kroger's in. Dan Kroger nails it. And Ohio and Nebraska now has a seven point lead. So Oklahoma's just going to tie it up. So that's going to be big. Sanger will kick off to Washington and Peacock. We got less, less than a minute to go, 50 seconds. Nebraska's gonna kick it deep. Rich Sanger, and it won't be returned, it'll be a cutback, that's you. Oklahoma's gotta throw the ball down the field. They gotta get something going, they only got 50 seconds to go, they got two timeouts. First and 10 from their own 25. And here we go, the blitz by Morrell, the snap. Davis is looking, he's gonna, he's gonna try and run away from the blitz, he runs himself. And he goes to the outside of games two. He's still in now. Offense. And they waste uh, they waste the timeout here. They almost have to throw a Hail Mary and hope to catch it and call timeout. So it'll be second down and eight from the 27. 37 seconds to go. And Davis, he's gonna throw. He throws to Billy Brooks and Brooks jumps. And he can't have it. It'll be third down. Third down and eight. It looks hopeless. It looks hopeless, it really does. Oh my God, wait a second. I just saw something right now. We might go back to our original game. We gotta see, where is Penn State and Ohio State? Where is Penn State and Ohio State? We're looking, I can't believe that one. 
Penn State and Ohio State. There's Penn State, they're near the bottom, I think. I thought I saw something incredible. There it is, Ohio State has the ball with 25 seconds and we gotta go to this game. 25 seconds to go, Ohio State has come back. So here we go, we gotta see this. We gotta see this ending. This is our original game. This is for the onside kick. Ohio State has no timeouts left. If we don't get this, we're gonna go back to the Oklahoma game. So here we go. Look at this, an unbelievable, an unbelievable, unbelievable comeback by Ohio State. It's 38-32, 25 seconds, but they gotta get the onside kick. And here it is, the onside kick. They get it, Nittany Lions have it. Nittany Lions have it. So an unbelievable comeback is no good. Now we're gonna go back with 19 seconds. We're gonna go back to Oklahoma. That's gonna be big, Oklahoma and 71 Nebraska right here. 19 seconds to go here. So the onside kick was no good. 19 seconds to go, here comes Oklahoma. Down by seven, they still have a timeout, fourth and eight. They need to hit this. Double coverage, he's gonna throw. He throws to Tinker Owens. It's broken up, and Nebraska's gonna win the football game. Number one, Nebraska survives. Unbelievable, I can't believe Ohio State made a comeback there. But anyway, Nebraska will come back and take a knee here. And that's gonna be the football game. Post battle and now to our post game show. Don't miss the post game show here. We're gonna go over all the final scores and the rankings. Oh, the rankings and the standings. Very, very quickly. And here we go. Here we go, Shaggy, three touchdowns. Incredible game for him. Here we go. Miami wins big. Oklahoma, they win big. Oregon State is back on track. If they can win the rest, they might do very well. They beat Alabama. They're the they're a hot football team. Miami beats Notre Dame in 1966. They're in the playoff hunt again. USC of 05, they're in the playoff hunt. Texas of 05, they're in the playoff hunt. Auburn of 04, they won a couple in a row. Notre Dame of 89, they're, they're in the playoff hunt. Florida gets a win, and Florida against USC, a huge win, Florida big. Alabama beat Clemson, Clemson sliding. Texas beat 77 Notre Dame, that might put them close. LSU gets blown out by Tennessee. West Virginia holds on, they're in the playoff hunt. BYU loses, that's a blow to them. Auburn is 9-0. They beat Penn State by 10. Look at USC beating Auburn 63 to six. They're in the playoff hunt. And Texas is there in the playoff hunt. Nebraska of 1970 beats Arkansas. Both of those teams are in the playoff hunt. Oklahoma loses to Georgia. Georgia 1980 is in the playoff hunt. Nebraska beating Oklahoma. Uh, Oklahoma beating Nebraska of 83. That puts them in. Notre Dame a win against Penn State. USC doing what they suppo are supposed to. Florida State, good. We're a separating team. USC by a field goal, that's big. Arizona State, big Nebraska. And the game that you just saw, almost, almost lost their number one. They might have lost their number one. USC, 17-13. Washington. They lose to USC. They almost got their second win at home. They're tough, but they couldn't do it. USC with the win here. Miami with the win. SMU, they're out of it. They could have done something with the win here, but 21 fourth quarter points, no good. Hit a 1980, they do what they need to do. Miami of 86, that puts them in the hunt. Notre Dame, that comeback of 1988, Notre Dame pushes Miami out probably. 
Syracuse is in the hunt. Florida's probably out. The Syracuse Orangemen are 92, five and seven won't get you in. But a good, they might make something in the postseason, at least the consolation game. You can make those two, you never know what happens. Alabama v. Houston. Georgia Tech holds on. They are still in the hunt. Colorado, big, they're believe it or not, still in the hunt. Miami v. Penn State, a blow for Penn State. Miami v. Georgia here. Georgia, a blow for 82 Georgia, a big blow for them. Texas beat Notre Dame, Texas of 81, still in it. Virginia Tech taking a hit against 96 Florida. Penn State, I can't believe. When you look at the box score, fourth quarter, uh, one yard pass, I think an onside kick and a four yard run. And that's it. So they did fumble though. So Ohio State, no, 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 no. With play-by-play, uh, play. We'll take a look at the ending here. See how they made that unbelievable comeback. Fourth quarter, Penn State, they were leading. So Penn State, Ohio State goes all the way and they score. So a fumble, I see. Oh, they haven't had a chance. Fourth quarter, Penn State, and all the way down and the field goal 35 to 19. 38, uh, Kajana Carter scores. Then 38 to 19 on the field goal. So it's 38 to 25 on the touchdown. And they recovered the onside kick and scored. So they couldn't recover two onside kicks. Just recovered one. And that's it. So that is Big Penn State goes ahead. Ohio State leads, Florida State. Sorry, sorry about that, I missed the, uh, dang it. So now, now you see everybody will go back up. Um, taking a look, USC, they're in it still, 1976. Remember, they played pretty much all their games on the road. They ought to be up there. Pitt loses to Ohio State, they take a hit. Uh, Tennessee, I'm 98, they're not bad. They're hot now, they're six and three, and they're moving up. And Ohio State of 73 stays alive. Now, the big one for the standard, for the ranking. And here's the ranking, Auburn is now number one. Auburn is now number one. Nebraska is Two, a 95, Penn State is three, a 94. Nebraska 71 is fourth. Ohio State a 96 is fifth. Undefeated Notre Dame is six, they'll move up. Alabama seven. So looking at the playoffs, Penn State is 68, they're number 32. Penn State is 78, they would be looking in right now. West Virginia is in the hunt. That's the way we look at that now. Very big 76 Pittsburgh is still uh, 23rd. 203 yards passing for Toretta, 393 for Kerry Collins, and 100 yards rushing. This might be the first time that stayed. Anyway, Richard Perkins in Tennessee, 144 yards. John and Carter, I don't think we're getting 100. And now we go to the standings. Very big standings. Remember, it's all conference games. Don't look at overall, look at conference. Notre Dame, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you play eight conference games to win by Notre Dame. And by 1988, they're going to win the conference and host the conference championship. B, Alabama and Texas, you only play seven here. So, Alabama looking good of 09. For C, 
Head-to-head record, USC, of 74 to USC, of 03, so they would own. D, Nebraska, Georgia Tech, strength the schedule, they still got to, they still got to go, Georgia Tech, if the Wings could host the conference final, D, Florida State, Alabama, F, wow, look at that, 1980, Pittsburgh, it's 2-0, I think these are the independents. So, yeah, these are the independents, so we just go by all the games. So we go by all the games. And right now, Pittsburgh has a 7-2. Tiebreaker will be the divisional record. That is FG. Alabama, 1981 Pitt. Pitt needs to finish in the top couple. Alabama, 79, looking good. H. Texas and Nebraska. They gotta play each other, and that'll be big. I, the top two of each. Pitt is over Ohio State of 73, based on head-to-head. -head. Pitt's got to keep things going, another win, and they should be okay for at least a consolation. OA Florida, remember they blew out OA Florida. So they're hoping OA Florida loses. Group J, you only have seven teams here. And Auburn, number one, they're doing very well. They just beat Penn State. Hold the advantage over Penn State. K. Penn State just beat Ohio State. They have the they have the head to head. Um, but they got three people tied in the very beginning. So Penn State will have to play 72 USC. That is big. Taking a look at next week. Week 12. Taking a look at the game for next week. Alabama big at Oklahoma. USC and Miami. That'll be big. Oh, yeah. BYU, Penn State at Boise State. USC, the winless Kansas. LSU trying to win. Oh, Miami and West Virginia. That'll be playoff now. Auburn and Nebraska. That'll be like a 50-point game. Tennessee and Texas, this might be a good one. Oh my God, Notre Dame and Oklahoma, 1971. Good one, Pitt and 79, USC. We're going to 1980, we're getting some really good games next week. Notre Dame and 78, Penn State. There's some very good games next week. Just a lot of them. Auburn is at 89, Tennessee. Colorado and TCU. Oh, look at Arkansas and Georgia Tech. The winner of that game will still be in. Oregon State is going to try and get a winning record. If they do that, they might be have some people looking at them. Oh, there's USC. There it is, right there. That's going to be a group championship. We got to take a look at all these. Penn State's number three. USC's number nine. We might have Penn State again next week. But we gotta take a look at all the matchups. We really do. That's week 11 for us. Thank you for tuning in. We're gonna see you next week. Oh my goodness. This is just heating up. Just really, really heating up at the moment right now. Have a great day. For those of you on the East Coast, I'm in Thailand. I'm going to have a great Saturday. You have a great day as well. Have a full Saturday. And remember about the clock. Spencer Kale Corner.